Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about draw triangles with given two sides and one angle using the protractor and the ruler. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we will have two examples class for you to really understand this one. So let's start with example number one. We have given side AB, that is 6 centimeters, side AC, that is 5 centimeters, angle A, that's 70 degrees. So first thing that you need to do class is you draw side AB, that is 6 centimeters. You draw horizontal line class, that is 6 centimeters. Alright, so horizontal line, 6 centimeters, and that would be side AB. Alright, so draw horizontal line, that is side AB, which is 6 centimeters. And do not forget class to label, this is point A, and then point B. Now, we have given angle A, that is 70 degrees, therefore our angle class will be here. Okay, once again, this is point A, point B, therefore our angle will be here. So, your angle class, it forms like this for angle A. So, therefore, using your protractor to find that angle, 70 degrees, this point class, you align this one in the center part of your protractor. Alright, so once again, in the center part of your protractor, you align this point so that we can find that angle. And then 0 class, you align this in this horizontal line. Once again, you align 0 in this horizontal line. And then you align this point in the center part of your protractor. Alright, and then we will use the inner numbers for the angles. So we have 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50, 60, and then 70 degrees for angle A. Alright, so this will be our reference for angle A, that is 70 degrees. So therefore, this will be C. Alright, so this will be C. This is A, this, A, this is B, and this will be C. Alright, and then you sketch this one. So we have 5 centimeters for AC. So let's have 7 to 2 to sketch this one. So 7 to 2. That would be 5 centimeter, right? Alright, so once again, class, the, the use for this one, class, this will be our reference for the angle. Once again, our angle A, that is 70 degrees. And this will be our reference for 70 degrees, right? And this will be our point C. So this is point C. AC, it says there that's 5 centimeters. So this will be 5 centimeters. Alright, and then 6 centimeters for AB. And you just simply connect these points from B to C. And there would be line BC. Alright, simply connect these points. Alright, and that's it class. All set. That's how you draw triangles given two sides and then one angle. So you have 6 centimeters for AB. So once again, you can sketch this one class with a ball pen to finalize your answer. So this is AB, 6 centimeters. Alright, so 6 centimeters for AB. And then we have AC, that is 5 centimeters. So let's check. Yep, that's 5 centimeters for AC. So 5 centimeters. And then this one. So we don't have the value of BC for the line. So sim simply sketch this one. Connect the points from B to C. And then this will be 70 degrees for the angle. Angle A, that is 70 degrees. That's it, class. All set. So once again, you can use your protractor to check this one. Center part, then we align 0 in this horizontal line. And that would be 70 degrees. That's it, class. All set for example number 1. So that's how you draw, class. Given two sides and then one angle. So let's try another example, class. Example number 2. So we will have two examples for you to really understand this one. So let's have example number 2. So example number two, we have given line segment RS, so side RS, that is 7 centimeters, side ST, that's 5 centimeters, and we have given angle S, that's 50 degrees. So first thing that you need to do, you draw this line, 7 centimeters RS, alright, so 7 centimeters for RS. Okay, so R then S, 7 centimeters. Alright, and then do not forget to label class. This is point R, then point S, RS. 
Now, we have given angle S that is 50 degrees. Therefore, this will be our angle. Okay. Once again, our angle class, it forms like this for S. Alright. So, use your protractor to find 50 degrees. So, once again, from this point class, you align this one in the center part of your protractor. And then, you align 0 in this horizontal line because your angle class, it starts here. It forms like this. Alright. So, you align 0 in this horizontal line and this particular point plus this point S, this will be the center part of your protractor. Alright, and you have 50 degrees for this one. So, we will be using the outer numbers for the angle. So, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, 50 degrees for S. Alright, and we have, this is T. So, this will be point T. Alright, so we have R, S, then this will be T. Once again, this is our guide for the angle. So we have 50 degrees. Alright, for angle S. So once again, we have ST, that is 5 cm. Once again, this will be T. Upper part plus is T. And we have ST, that is 5 cm. Alright, so 5 cm. Let's have 7 to 2, that would be 5 cm, right? 7 to 2, that's 5 centimeters. Alright, let's check. Let's measure this one. Yep, 5 centimeters. So this will be our last point class. Once again, do not be confused with this one, one class. A while ago, this line right here, this point, is our guide for the angle. But we need to measure ST. That would be 5 centimeters. Alright, so we can just erase this one because we're done with our angle. And this will be point T. Alright, and just simply connect less this point T to point R. So RT, line segment RT. That's it, class. So you can now finalize this one using your ball pen. So finalize your answer. We have given RS that is six centimeters sorry, seven centimeters for RS. So, line segment RS or side RS, that is 7 cm. And then ST, that's 5 cm. Right, ST, that is 5 cm. Alright, and then we connect TR. We don't have the measure of TR plus. It's not given there. We only have RS and ST. So, ST, that is 5 cm. Alright, and this will be angle S, this will be 50 degrees. So you can use, once again, you can use your protractor class to check if this is really 50 degrees. Alright, so check if this is really 50 degrees. Yup. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees. And you align 0 in this horizontal line. That's it, class. All set. So that's how you draw triangles with given two sides and one angle using the protractor and the ruler. So the next part of our video class is how to draw triangles given three sides. And I will just put the link in the description down below. Once again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.